That's next on Anderson County Sports TV. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. And by Anderson Apothecary. The cure for the common drugstore. That's Anderson Apothecary. It's homecoming 2018 as Anderson County takes on Franklin County. Last week, Anderson improved 4-0, routing Louisville Valley 45-7. Charles Alexander Collins led the Cats in rushing and receiving both with 190 total yards, four TDs, three rushing and one receiving. Brendan Maxberry had two touchdowns, one rushing and one on a block punt, and threw for, to Collins for another touchdown. Wesley Rewind kicked all six extra points. Defensively, the Cats limited Valley to 128 yards total offense. Colton Cornish led the Cats again with five tackles and blocked a punt that was recovered by Max Berry. The Cats also scored on a safety and Jacob Luster recovered a fumble. Franklin is two and one beating Woodford and Western Hills and losing to Boyle. Their offense is built around quarterback Nick Boyle's number 10 who can run and pass and number 20 Amber Lee is the best back who can run, run and catch equally well. Coach Peach said this would be the toughest game the Cats have had since Meade County. They've had a good week of practice and are ready to go into next week's bye week. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Anderson won the toss, and they'll receive. And we'll get started here in just a couple minutes. This rivalry goes back a long. This rivalry goes back a long, long way. It was interrupted uh, in the 70s, but they played each other every year for the last eight years. They were district rivals for six years, and then the last two have just been. It's just a nice, conven nice, convenient. Uh, Game draws a big crowd from both uh, schools. And here comes Franklin County, getting a rousing reception from the Anderson County students. Bearcat Den is in full throat tonight. They've got a little something going with the leader of the den, uh, Simon Lilly. It's my understanding that if, uh, here come the Bearcats. Like I was saying, it's my understanding that if uh, they get 220 students in the den tonight, uh, Simon Lilly will get one ear pierced. If they get 275, he'll get both of them. I don't know who's going to be counting, but I'd wager to say that he's going to end up getting one ear pierced one way or the other. Anderson's getting ready to receive. Looks like you've got Russell, Fink, Collins, Will Hoyt, Rewine, Cornish, Clink, Taylor. Max Berry. Chapman. And from the scouting report, Franklin County mostly either squib kicks or pooch kicks, so Anderson's got their hands team out there. And when they when they tee it up here on the on the left hand side, usually it's an onside kick.
And there's a high kick. It's being taken by Will Hoyt at the 40. And he gets through the first wave, and he's up to the 48-yard line where Anderson will take over. First and 10. Anderson comes out with uh, Stratton, Chilton, Castle. Anderson puts Rewind and Collins to this side. Gillis is in the pistol. Got Der Derringer and Will Hoyt shift to the other side. There's a handoff to Maxberry. He breaks a tackle, and he gets, he gets five to the Franklin County 47-yard line. Looks like that's a gain of four. Anderson's in the pistol, wide receivers left and right. There's a handoff. No, Gillis fakes it, fake me. Anderson's gonna have it third and two. Gillis brings it to the Franklin 44. Gonna be third and two. Anderson's in the same formation. Clink and Rewind flanked right and left. Gillis keeps it, pitches it back to Collins, and they've got him. No, that, that was Russell they pitched it back to, and that's going to make it fourth down. That's a loss of four. Franklin's playing, Franklin's playing four linebackers or five linebackers and four people across the front. We've got Williams back to punt. Franklin has one receiver back. They like to overload one side and try and rush. It looks like they're looks like they might be coming. There's a nice high punt by Cornish. It's taken down on the 20, and he's run out on the 22 by Taylor and Redmond. And Franklin County comes out for the first time on offense. Defensively, Anderson has Derringer, Cornish, Aldridge, Luster, Will Hoyt, Ruwine, Collins, Russell, and Chilton. Fra Franklin goes five wide. They've got wide splits in their line. Quarterback's going back. There's a little short pass. Ruwine has him, and he's up to the 28th. That's a gain of five. Franklin's going to run out of a bunch of different formations with the, the same people. So there's not going to be much chance for Anderson to substitute. Ball's between the 28 and 29. Gain of five. Franklin has three wides to the far side, one to this side. Anderson's in a in a three front with two linebackers standing. There's a snap. There's a fake. They're, look, they're throwing a little slip screen out there, and there's a first down for Franklin. There's a tackle by Russell. First down, Franklin on uh, their own 37. Franklin, Franklin has two wides to the far side, one to this side. There's a handoff up the middle, and he's tackled by Taylor and Chilton. There's no gain there. It's going to make it second and ten. It's time Franklin puts the three, the three wides to this side.
Shifts the back. There's a snap. Quarterback keeps it. And he gets about four. That was three or four. That was Luster and Will Hoyt on the tackle. That's going to make it third and six. Ball's on the 41. Franklin has four wides. Bring a man in motion. Quarterback's rolling this way. There's the pass out there, and there's a big, there's a big hit by, by Collins, and, it, and he coughs it up, and Franklin looks like they're going to punt. Have Collins back for Anderson. Franklin spreads out all over. Anderson looks like they're coming. There's a snap. Anderson is coming. Gets it off. It's end over end. Collins takes it on the 30, and that's where he's knocked down. First and 10 Bearcats on the own 30 yard line. Good coverage by Franklin County. Anderson went three and out first time. Franklin, Franklin got a first down there first time. Anderson takes over on the 29. Anderson puts trips this way. There's a pass to Clank, and he catches it for the first down. Gain of 12. That was a cute little play there. They threw it. Collins jumped for the ball like he was going to catch it, and Clank ended up with it uh, for a first down. First and 10 Bearcats on the 42. Anderson has three wide. A wing. Collins is in motion. There's the option. Gillis has got a big hole, and he takes it up to the 49-yard line. It's going to make it second and eight. For second and two, second and second, seven, three rather, second and three. Anderson puts three receivers to the far side. Max Berry back there with Gillis. Gillis run. That uh, quarterback draw didn't work that time. They stopped Gillis for no gain. Third and three. Anderson has receivers left and right. There's a snap. Gillis is rolling. He's going out there deep. He's got Rewind, and he just fought. Rewind just tripped over his own feet. It's going to make it fourth and fourth and three. And I think we've got I think we've got water break. Okay, 604 to go in the first quarter, nothing to nothing. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Today's game is brought to you in part by 
Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Okay, we've got Woolham's in punt formation. Franklin has a receiver back on the 15 yard line. Franklin's loaded up on this side. Not much of a rush this time. Woolham's gets off a nice kick. It's taken on the 15 and Clink and Cornish, no. Clink and Boudreaux. Tackling back on the 12 yard line. Franklin comes out first and 10 on the 12. Looks like they've got a single receiver to the far side, trips to this side. There's a snap, quarterback's rolling this way. They're running a reverse. Will Heights back there after him. And they knock him down just short of the 15 yard line. That was Taylor and Chilton. It's gonna be second and eight. Two receivers to each side. I don't know if County's sending in another play or what. They're all checking their armbands. There's a snap. Quarterback's rolling this way. There's a little swing pass out here. And there's a first down. The tackle's by Rewind. That was a little, little pick play where, they, where Franklin's receivers crossed. And they picked off Anderson's uh, defensive back. First and 10 on the 27. Franklin has huge splits on in their line. There's the quarterback bringing it to the outside. Good tackle by Cornish. That's a gain of gain of four or five. Franklin has trips to the far side. They're throwing a little swing pass over there. And that was Russell that tripped him up or he was gone. Anderson didn't have enough defensive players over there. That's gonna be a first down on the Franklin 44. Franklin has trips this way. Man in motion. There's a handoff up the middle, and boy, there's nothing there. There's, there's Cornish and others. Cornish had the first hit, and you're not going to get away from Chris very often. Second and nine. Franklin has two receivers to the far side, one to this side. Pistol set. They've got people off the line. They had five people in the backfield. There's quarterback draw. And Russell's got him and drags him out of bounds on the Anderson 42-yard line. Anderson has, has Chapman in. And Franklin has two receivers to the far side, one to this side. And there's a gain of a couple 
And that tackle was by Derringer. It's like a gain of three. Three twenty-three to go in the first quarter. Franklin has two receivers to each side. Now they've got trips to the far side. Here's a pitch coming this way. Oh, they've got him open if the pass is there and it's overthrown. Boy, Anderson got lucky there. Rewind bit on that big time. He was wide open. That's going to make it third and eight. Franklin has trips to the far side. Franklin's changing the play. There's a snap. They're trying a little slip screen. Anderson's after him. And Russell's got to get him. And he runs him out of bounds on the 10 yard line. That quarterback is a real threat running the ball. Gets back there and runs around until he finds a hole, and there he goes. County he puts one receiver to the far side, two to this side. There's a handoff up the middle, and there's a fumble, and we got it. Joe Taylor pounces on the ball. Max Berry calls the fumble, and Taylor pounces on it. And Bearcats take over on their own nine yard line. First and 10 Anderson on their own nine with 2.46 to go in the first quarter. First and 10 Bearcats on the nine. Got two receivers to the far side, one to this side. Collins and Maxberry in the backfield. Gillis is keeping it, cuts it up, and brings it up to the 15 yard line where it's going to be second and four. Anderson comes out, receivers left and right. There's the handoff, and there's a first down. That's, I believe that's Collins. That's Collins and his first down Bearcats. First down Bearcats on the 21. Anderson goes four wide. There's a handoff to Maxberry. Nice spin move, and he takes it up to the 28, where it's going to be second and four. Maxberry was hit on the line and spun free for a few more yards. Second and four for Anderson. Gillis keeps it, pitches it to Maxberry. Maxberry cuts it up, and he's got the first down.
Anderson ran that play with almost 10 people on the field. I didn't think it looked like they had enough. Anderson has receiver to the far side, two to this side. Collins in motion. Gillis keeps it, pitches it back to Collins. He, Collins tries to cut it up, and he's knocked down for a gain of maybe a yard. 30 seconds in the first quarter, nothing to nothing. Let's say no gain on the play, second and 10. Anderson has two wides. There's the handoff up the middle to Collins and he fumbled and it's still loose and I think, I think Anderson got it. And that was Brandon Aldridge that recovered. Okay, let's see if Anderson decides to run a play. I don't think Anderson's gonna run a play. No, we're not. At the end of the first quarter, Anderson nothing, Franklin nothing. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Down there, the Bearcat Den, crank it up guys. Crank it up for the camera. There you go, thank you Simon Lilly. I hope you get both ears pierced. Anderson comes out, it's third and nine on the 36 yard line. Anderson has let wides left and right. Anderson has now two receivers to the far side. Gillis is rolling and we got a flag on the play. I think we left too soon. And we did. That's gonna make it third and 15. Third and 15 for Anderson. Gillis is back. He's scrambling around. He's got Ruwine, and that's a first down. He was awful close to being over the line of scrimmage, but he pulled that down just in time. First down Bearcats on the Franklin 45. That was a 20 yard gain. Anderson has two receivers to the far side, one to this side. Collins is in motion. Here comes a reverse this way to Rewind. He's going to the 30, he's to the 20, and down to the 19. Where Anderson will have it first and 10. That's a play we hadn't seen this year, was a flank or reverse.
First and 10 Bearcats on the eight, Franklin 18. Anderson has receivers left and right. There's a handoff to Collins, and he's gone. Nice little trap play right up the middle. Collins broke that, wasn't touched. We've got Rewind to kick, Russell to hold. There's a snap, and it's good with 10.55 to go on the half. Anderson, seven, Franklin, nothing. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, Anderson out to kick off. Rewind to kick. We've got Will Hoyt, Chapman, Maxberry, Cornish, Clink, Redmond, Russell, Taylor, Fink. Franklin's receiver is back on the five. There's a squibber. I don't know if I don't know if he, that's the first time they've done that this year. Franklin will take it on the 21. I don't know if that was planned or if he just missed that. First and ten Franklin on their own 21. Franklin puts two wides, three wides to the far side, one wide to this side. Man in motion. There's a handoff up the middle. And that was Aldridge. Franklin puts two receivers to this side, one to the far side. Once again, big splits in the line. There's a snap. There's a counter play to the far side. And, and that's Collins that brings him down, Collins and Cornish. It's like a gain of a couple. Seven to nothing Bearcats, 9.46 to go on the half. Franklin goes empty. There's the snap. Will Heights getting back there. They're throwing a little drag pass across the, the middle and Russell and Cornish knock him out, but that's a first down on the 39. They drug one of those four receivers back across the middle and there wasn't anybody there.
Anderson has two. Franklin has two receivers to each side. There's a snap, quarterback's rolling. There's a little swing pass out there. And that was Clink, Clink and Collins, second and seven. Two receivers to the far side, one to this side. There's the fullback, and he's brought down by Taylor. Not much gain at all there. Franklin County's actually best running play has been quarterback run around. Franklin has two receivers to each side. Quarterback's rolling to the right. There's a pass over there. And he's hit by Clink and Maxbury, but that's enough for the first down. First and 10 on the Anderson 49. Franklin has two receivers to the far side, one to this side. There's a handoff to the full fullback, and he breaks loose, and Collins throws him down, but that's a first down. First down on the Anderson, and Anderson calls timeout with 7.46 to go in the quarter. Ahead seven to nothing. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Little cheerleaders down there for the Bearcats. I'm not quite sure where they're from, but they're helping out Anderson's cheerleaders. And it looks like they're having fun. 7.46 to go in the first half. First and 10 for Franklin on Anderson's 37 yard line. Anderson called that timeout. Franklin has one receiver to the far side, two to this side. There's a snap. There's a handoff and there's a gain of two. That's, that was Luster and Taylor on the tackle. Second and eight. Franklin has two receivers to each side. Quarterback's rolling that way. And that was an incomplete pass. Uh, that was Aldridge that had him around the ankles. I think we had a blatant jersey grab out there, but uh, the officials didn't see it. Third and eight for Franklin. They've got trips to the far side. Quarterback's back. Anderson's trying to get pressure, and Aldridge has him. And there's a flag on the play. 
That's probably going to be a hold. Now, the question is, let's see here. Oh, we got a face mask against Anderson. Face mask against Anderson. And that's a five-yard penalty. That'll make it third and five. Franklin's double tight, one receiver. And Franklin calls timeout with 6.49 to go in the first half, tra trailing seven to nothing. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Okay, 6.49 to go in the first half. Anderson seven, Franklin nothing. Third and five for Franklin on Anderson's 33. Franklin called the timeout. Each team has two left. Franklin changes their formation. They've got two receivers to this side, one to the far side. Now they shift one of the receivers to the far side. We've got two receivers in the wing over there. There's a quick screen to the far side, and boy, he's hit over there by Russell. He doesn't have the first down. It's going to be fourth and two. Fourth and one. That was a big penalty there on uh, Anderson. That would have made it uh, fourth and fourth and ten. Franklin puts three receivers to this side, one to the far side. So you might look for a little quarterback run here. Quarterback's keeping it, and that was a nice tackle by Maxberry, but he's got the first down. Down on the Bearcat 26. Franklin has trips to this side. Single receiver to the far side. Anderson only has three three men in front on the front line, four linebackers. There's quarterback keeper again, and he comes forward for three, three or four. Tackles by Taylor and Aldridge. Second and seven. Franklin has trips to this side. And we've got officials time, officials timeout, probably water break. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Okay, second and seven for Franklin on Anderson's 23-yard line, 5.53 to go in the first half. Franklin has trips to this side, single receiver to the far side. Empty backfield. Quarterback looks left, goes coming back to the right, going out there deep, and it's out of the end zone. Anderson had pressure on the quarterback there. Will Hoyt was back there. It's going to make it third and seven.
Franklin once again has three receivers to this side. One to the far side. There's a little slip screen. Good play, good play by Russell. That's a loss of about five. Russell got through the blockers and it is fourth and fourth and 16 and Franklin looks like they're might be gonna punt. Anderson, Anderson isn't gonna rush this too hard. There's a snap. There's the kick. And it's in, into the end zone where Anderson will take over first and 10 on the 20. Collins waved for the fair catch, which slowed down the Franklin rush just enough to let that ball get in the end zone. Anderson will take over with 4.43 to go in the first half. They had seven to nothing. Anderson comes out, has receivers left and right. There's a counter play to Max Berry, and he brings it up to the 27 yard line where it'll be second and three. And this is a this is where Anderson's had trouble converting is on second and short. It's second and four. Receivers left and right. There's Collins and he pops through there and he's gone. He gets open there, not gonna catch him. He got a he got a block out there from Clank and once he got past that man, he was gone. Rewind in to kick the point. Russell to hold, there's a snap, and it's good. 3.56 to go in the first half. Anderson 14, Franklin nothing. The game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We're now on the... Uh, Mr. Lab, Mr. Labhart, uh, Zach Labhart, who's had surgery on in his ACL, uh, and we wish Zach, Zach the best in his recovery. He's a big cog in the Anderson machine, and they, they miss him. Okay, we've got Rewind ready to kick off, and this one is a sailor that is uh, back to the one-yard line, and I think that was Max Berry that caught him by a foot. Franklin with 3.51 to go in the half. Franklin will take over on their own 33 yard line. Franklin has, has two receivers to each side. Anders has got three down. Quarterback's going straight back. Throwing it out here to the side. 
And that's a gain of two. That's a good tackle by Chilton. Good, sure tackle. It's a gain of two. Oh, personal foul. I think we've got a personal foul roughing the passer. And we do have a personal foul roughing the passer. Didn't see who was back there, but uh, that's a big old penalty there. Takes the ball up to midfield. First down, Franklin. Goes. Okay, the official saying uh, need to reset the clock for 334. If they can figure out how to do it. Well, no, they can't. Need to take it. There we go. They got it now. All right. Franklin has it first and 10 at midfield. Quarterback's going straight back. Anderson's getting pressure. There's a little dump over the line, and that's Taylor. That's a gain of two. Second and eight for Franklin. Franklin has a receiver split far to the far side, has trips to this side. Quarterback's rolling to that far side, and there's a there's a good tackle by Aldridge. That's a loss of four. Nice tackle by by Aldridge. Yeah, it's just a lo loss of two. I thought he was farther back than that. I guess Brandon threw him back farther. Third and eleven. Two wides to the far side. Two wides to this side. Two and a half minutes to go in the half. There's a snap, quarterback's going straight back. Anderson's getting pressure. He's going across the middle and it's through the receiver's hands. That's gonna make it fourth and 11. Their own 41. Anderson has two timeouts in a minute 55. Try and do some damage. Gillis keeps it, cuts it up, and gets up to the 45. Gain of three. Anderson calls timeout with a minute 28 to go in the first half. Timeout, Bearcats. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hello, Miss Sylvia. This is John from Anderson Apothecary. I was just calling to see how you were feeling today. John goes above and beyond for each and every customer that we have. He jumped right on it. If someone needed help, John would be the first guy there. No questions asked, nothing to eat. He'll be there.
John just wanted to open a hometown pharmacy just to take better care of his customers. Well, I sure am glad you're feeling better. We're going to be bringing your medication by here just shortly. Is there anything else I can pick up for you? If you haven't met John yet, come out and meet him, and you'll like him just as much as we do. Hello, Miss Sylvia. This is John from Anderson Apothecary. I was just calling to see how you were feeling today. John goes above and beyond for each and every customer that we have. He jumped right on it. If someone needed help, John would be the first guy there. No questions asked, nothing to eat. He'll be there. John just wanted to open a hometown pharmacy just to take better care of his customers. Well, I sure am glad you're feeling better. We're going to be bringing your medication by here just shortly. Is there anything else I can pick up for you? If you haven't met John yet, come out and meet him, and you'll like him just as much as we do. Anderson has receivers left and right. There's the handoff to Collins. He gets, they get a jersey tackle on him, and he's going to be just short of the first down. Minute 20 to go in the half. Third and, third and, third and two. Down to a minute to go in the half. There's a handoff to Max Berry, he, and he's met by a wall, a wall of players, and that's going to make it fourth down, and Franklin calls timeout with 49 seconds to go. Once again, Anderson has trouble converting on short yardage situations, and we've got Woolham's in to punt. We'll have uh, the homecoming festivities uh, right at soon as soon as the, they start. Okay, on Monday on Monday night we've got uh, eighth grade night from Anderson Anderson Middle. I think they're playing Bondurant out of Frankfurt, so we'll have we'll have that game. Uh, I don't think it'll be streamed live, but we'll have it and it'll get on the uh, get on the Facebook page. So that Tuesday, look look for the uh, Anderson Middle School game on. Uh, Anderson County Sports TV. We've got Woolham's in to punt. Franklin's loaded up like they're going to brush. There's a nice end over end kick that's being taken. And there's a sh good sure tackle by Cornish. Cornish has got a basket full of tackles tonight. Forty point six seconds to go in the half. Franklin will have the ball on their own 19-yard line. They will receive the kick at the start of the second half. And I was trying to, the Franklin's coaches are still up here, so maybe, the, maybe they're not going to just sit on it. We'll see. They've got trips to the far side, singled up on this side. Quarterback's back. They're coming across the middle. And there's Chilton on the tackle. That's going to be a first down. Franklin has no timeouts left. And Chilton is, they're getting Chilton off the field. 34.8 seconds to go. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds to go on the half. Quarterback's back. Anderson's getting pressure. Cornish is after him, and he's down. Cornish gets his big hands on him. That's that's it. I thought Franklin was out of timeouts, but apparently not. They uh, they're huddling them up with 15.8 to go. 
So Franklin has timeout. Like I say, once again, we'll have homecoming and we'll have eighth grade night uh, for the middle school on Monday night from Anderson Middle School Gym on Anderson County Sports TV. Okay, yep. Yeah, and all the games that we've done this year, you can find them on the YouTube channel of uh, Anderson County Sports TV. Uh, just a reminder, Anderson will be off next week. They have an open date, and we'll be back in two weeks when Anderson plays Grant County. We're not going to stream that game, so you'll have to catch it on Tuesday. Uh, either, well, actually you'll catch it, probably catch it, First on Monday on the channel on the local channel six. Fifteen point eight seconds to go. Franklin has wides to each side. Anderson's dropping back. They're sending a late blitzer. Taylor misses him. They're coming across the middle, and it's juggled. And we've got rewind down with nine point four seconds to go. I don't know why the officials was marking it there. That was an incomplete pass. Okay, it's third and third and 16 with 9.4 seconds to go. Franklin puts two receivers to each side. Quarterback's going back. Anderson's getting pressure. Oh, they've got a man out there wide open. And there's a touchdown on the last play of the half. And as I said, uh, Franklin gets the ball. That's a big momentum booster for Franklin County. Franklin's ready to try the point. Everybody's count everybody's counting players. There's the snap. And it's good. At the half, Anderson 14, Franklin 7. We'll be back with homecoming in just a minute. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Presenting the sophomore class is Haley Case. Haley's the daughter of Sean and Ann Case. She's a member of the golf team, FCA, FCCLA, Challenger League, and Sand Spring Baptist Church. She's escorted by Lane Lilly, son of Mark and Tabitha Lilly. Also representing the sophomore class is Kaylin Hatchell. She's the daughter of Rebecca Henderson and Jamie Hatchell. She's a member of FCCLA. She's escorted tonight by Dalton Davis. He's the son of Rosemary and Donald Davis. Junior class representative is Emma Jorett. She's a 15-year-old, 16-year-old daughter of Ken and Angie Jorett. She's a member of GT, a Paul's Minute mentor, advanced course, beta club, ACT cats, and a class officer. She's escorted by Eli Drury, the son of Terry and Melissa Drury.
Also representing the junior class is Emma Van Hook. She's the daughter of Jeff and Jill Van Hook. Member of the dance team, FCA, Beta Club, FCCLA, Advanced Chorus, Women's Acapella Group, a Paul's mentor, class officer, and a worship leader at Nineveh Christian Church. She's escorted by Alex Carpenter, the son of Chip and Shannon Carpenter. Maddie Coven Copenhaver represents the senior class. She's the daughter of Alicia Fennell and Chris Copenhaver. She's a member of PAC, FCA, FCCLA, the softball team, advanced course, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. Senior class secretary, editor of the yearbook, and first runner-up in the Anderson County Distinguished Young Woman. She's escorted by, escorted by Luden Ballard, son of Jay and Ann. Angie Ballard and Kristen Ballard Casaro. Next senior is Marley Garman. Marley's the daughter of David Garman and the late Marie Garman. She's a member of Beta Club, gifted and talented. FCA, FCCLA, and a Governor's Scholar for the Arts alumni. She's escorted tonight by Thomas Holmes, the son of Tam and Liz Holmes. <laughs> Last senior candidate is Bailey Pitt Pedersen. She's the daughter of Mary Holm Hoover. Holm Huber and Sean Pedersen. She's a member of the Advanced Course, Beta Club, FCCLA, FCA, Green Club, National Honor Society, Acapella Course. She's on the dance, she's the dance team captain, SOS Vice President, a Paul's mentor, member of Bridge is the Bridgeport Christian Church, and the she's the distinguished young woman of Anderson County champion. She's escorted by Dustin Webb, son of Darren and Michelle Webb. Carrying the Princess Flyers is Naomi Aubrey, the daughter of Sarah and, Sarah and Mark Aubrey. <laughs> Naomi is escorted by Bro Brody Baxter. He's the son of Brandon and Brittany Baxter. Carrying the princess crown is Ellison Lou Thacker. She is the daughter of Kyle and Emily Thacker. She's escorted by Braden Hicks. He's the son of Robbie and Nikki Hicks. Carrying the Queen's Flyers is Isabel Howard. She's the daughter of Jason and Elizabeth Howard. Isabel is escorted by Slate Holtzclaw, the son of Chris and Charlotte Holtzclaw. Carrying the Queen's crown is Michaela K. Coleman. She's the daughter of Kyle and Jessica Coleman. She's escorted by Rhett Gritton. She's the Rhett's the son of Devin and Amanda Gritton. And 
we have last year's queen, homecoming queen, Callie Jo Smith. She's the daughter of Joe and Tamara Smith. She's attending WKU and majoring in nursing. She's escorted by Chris Glass, the principal at Anderson High. Okay, now we have the homecoming princess. And, and that the homecoming princess is Emma Van Hook. We've got to chase the crown down here. In the 2018 homecoming queen is Miss Bailey Pedersen. All right, congratulations to Emma and Bailey, and we'll be back for the start of the second half here in just a little bit. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Two minutes to go before the start of the second half. We have the first half stats. Anderson 14, Franklin 7. Franklin has 12 first downs to 7 for Anderson. Franklin has 73 yards rushing. Anderson has 172. Franklin has 161 yards passing. Anderson has 36. Uh, Franklin has run 38 plays for 234 yards. Anderson has run 21. Franklin's almost run twice as many plays as Anderson and has... 26 more yards. Um, third down conversions, Franklin's four of eight, Anderson's one of four. Charles Collins has 104 yards rushing and two touchdowns. Uh, Rewind has 28 
yards, Max Berry 25, and Gillis 20. Gillis is two out of three for 36. Uh, Ruwine has one catch for 23. Brendan Clank has one for 13. John Michael Willems, three punts for 37.7 yards average. Um, they've got Kine and Max Berry with eight tackles. Scrap, or Kine and Russell with eight tackles and, and Brendan Max Berry with four. I've, I've got to think that Chris Cornish has a bunch of tackles there. I don't know why they didn't didn't get him in there, but I, I I know of three I know of at least four that he's he's gotten just all by his lonesome. Anderson's gonna be kicking off to start the second half. And Franklin will be going left to right. Rewind to kick off. Collins has scored both Anderson's touchdowns. And Franklin, of course, on that uh, long, long pass at the end of the first half that pulled Franklin within 14 to 7. Okay, we've got Ruwine ready to kick off. And the second half's underway. There's the kick, it's down to the three yard line to Ferrier. Oh, there was a big, good wedge by Franklin County. And Collins knocks him out of bounds on the Anderson 43-yard line. Boy, they had a good wall built there. And uh, Frank, Franklin gets a good kickoff return to the Anderson 37-yard line. Well, no, they're backing it up now to the 44. 44. Anderson come Anderson's coming out on defense. Franklin has two receiver has wide to each side. Pistol formation, man in motion out of the pistol. There's a quarterback draw. He's missed. And he's knocked down over there on the side after a first down by Cornish. That quarterback is slick. First down for Franklin on the Anderson 32. Franklin has two receivers to each side. Quarterback's going straight back. Anderson's trying to get pressure. They're going across the middle. It's batted down by Taylor. Receiver was cutting down there on, on the post pattern, and Taylor reached up and batted the ball down. Second and 10 for Franklin. Second 10 for Franklin on the Anderson 32. Got two receivers to each side. Once again, they put a man in motion. Here he comes on the jet sweep. And Collins starts him down and Cornish finishes him off. That's to the 26. Now they're marking it back on the 27. Third and five for Franklin. Yeah. 
Franklin puts two wides to each side. There's a handoff, and he's going to be short of the first down by about two yards. That's, that's Luster on the tackle. Fourth and two. This could well be quarterback scramble, scramble drill, which has been one of their best plays. Quarterback's rolling to the left. Anderson's coming on, Cornish is coming on the blitz. They're throwing for the end zone. And that's a touchdown. Nice catch by the receiver. Nice catch by the receiver. Clank was right there, but the receiver went up over him and pulled the ball in. Ready for the point after. There's a snap. And it's good with 10-17 to go in the third quarter. Franklin and Anderson tied at 14 apiece. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school, on Highway 127. Last time we did this, we pooch kicked it to the Anderson's right side. Looks like that's where they're going with it this time. There's Will Hoyt, he catches it, makes a man miss. He's coming to this side. He's driving forward, he's over midfield to the Franklin County 48 yard line. Where Anderson will take over first and 10. Anderson comes out with their first crack at it at the start of the second half. All the scoring have been big plays. Anderson puts receivers left and right. Looks like we're waiting on a TV timeout here. There's a snap to Gillis. Gillis is looking, and it's tipped. He was going for Derringer over the middle. He pumped once, pulled it down, and tried to hit Derringer, and uh, linebacker batted the ball. Second and 10 for Anderson. Anderson has receivers left and right. Gillis is swinging it out to Maxberry, and that's uh, they're they're calling it incomplete. Going to make it second or third and third and ten for Anderson. No, they did call. They did call the lateral, and it was out of bounds. It's 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 third and a year for Anderson. There's a handoff to Maxberry, and he's corralled after a gain of about four. Anderson Anderson's going to have to punt.
No, Woolham's in to kick. And number three, Ferrier, who's caused all the damage for Anderson, he's back to receive the punt. Franklin's loaded up on this side of the line. Good snap. Nice high kick. That's getting a great Franklin County bounce. And it's down on the, uh, their own 36. That bounced back 10 yards. And Franklin will take over with 9.13 left in the third quarter, 14-14. Franklin puts trips to the left side, twins to this side. Quarterback's back, and it's batted up in the air. Not sure who that was, but somebody batted, batted, the, batted it up in the air. Second and 10 for Franklin. Got two wides to each side. Man in motion. There's a jet sweep. And he's got the first down. Well, no, he doesn't. The ball went backwards. He's going to be short. The ball, the ball came out, and he's going to be a yard, yard or two short. Thought I saw a ball bouncing around over there, and apparently so. Third and one. And we've got timeout for something here. Oh, Franklin's got a man down. Okay, we'll be back. Anderson 14, Franklin 14. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Okay, Franklin had an injured player over there on the sideline. It's third and one. Franklin has two receivers to this side, one to the far side. And there's a quarterback keeper, and he's tackled over there after the first down by Cornish. Be first and 10 for Franklin on Anderson's 49. Franklin puts two receivers to the far side, one to this side. There's a handoff up the middle and there's Luster. And Taylor, second and nine. Two receivers to each side. Quarterback's going straight back. There's a completion and hit by Chilton, that's going to make it third and one. On Anderson, Anderson 41. There's quarterback keeper. And he's got the first down, down on the 35. Third 
First and 10 Franklin on Anderson's 35. Franklin has two receivers to the far side, one to this side. Man in motion. There's quarterback draw. Oh. He's hit hard there by Cornish. That's a loss of it's a loss of about half a yard. Second and ten. Franklin's got trips to the far side. Man in motion. Quarterback's back. There's a big hole there. And he's down to the 20-yard line. There was a big hole there for the receiver where he's tackled by a rewind. And Collins, first and 10 Franklin on Anderson's 21. There's a snap coming across the middle. And there's a completion in the tackles by Cornish after a gain of, gain of four or five. Second and six. And timeout Anderson, 641 to go in the quarter, 14-14. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Okay, second six for Franklin on Anderson's 17-yard line. Got receivers two to this side, one to the far side. There's a handoff to this side, and there's a touchdown for Franklin. They ran right through Anderson. Seventeen yard touchdown, and Franklin takes the lead. Franklin scored three touchdowns in less than six minutes. The momentum has really changed since Franklin uh, through that uh, touchdown pass at the end of the first half. Frankfurt, Franklin's ready for the point after. There's a snap. And it's good. With 6.35 to go in the third, Franklin 21, Anderson 14. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on a high Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, Franklin has run off 21 unanswered points in less than six minutes. And Anderson finds itself down 21 to 14. Franklin's ready to kick off. Both kickoffs have been handled by Will Hoyt. I'm wondering if this is not, it's going to be a poocher. And Will Hoyt makes a nice play. Catches that ball on the 41 yard line where Anderson will have it first and 10. That was a nice that was a nice kick by Franklin. Will Hyde got on it right. And there was a wave of Franklin players coming after him. 
Anderson will have it on their own 40. First and 10. Trailing 21 to 14. Anderson has receivers left and right. Here comes the jet, jet sweep. And that's a gain of maybe a yard. Second nine for Anderson. Anderson has receivers left and right. Man in the slot. There's a counter play to Max Berry, and he gets a couple. It's going to be third and six for Anderson. And Franklin has a man down. We'll be back in just a second. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 126. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Okay, here we go. Third and six for Anderson. Gillis is back. He's going up the middle, and Russell's got it on the 30-yard line. Nice catch by Russell. Good throw, good catch. And Russell's coming off. He's, I don't know if he took it in the stomach or what. Nice catch by Russell. First down Bearcats on the Franklin 30. Anderson has a bunch formation to this side. And I can't believe that was not offside. Gillis is rolling. He's escaping. He's running, cutting it up. And he's hit on the 25. Well, Franklin had a man all the way across the line, and they didn't call anything. Second and five. No, it's second and six. Anderson has receivers left and right. There's Collins, and he's got the first down. Well, maybe not. He's going to be a yard short. And Franklin's got somebody else cramping up. And 4.30 to go. Anderson has it third and one and got an injury timeout. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Anderson's in the wishbone. There's the handoff to Collins. He's got the first down. First and 10, Anderson on the 19. Second 
First and 10, Anderson on the 19. Four minutes to go in the third quarter, 21 to 14. Franklin, it's a sweep to Collins. He popped through there and he's gone. And we've got a flag on the play. That's after the play. I don't know what we've got here, but we got a flag on the play. Franklin's got another man down, but we, I think we've got a flag over there on the far side. Personal foul, Franklin County. Touchdown counts. And Touchdown's going to count. You got a personal foul on Franklin. Max Berry and a Franklin player were tied up down there on the 18-yard line. I don't know what, what for sure that was. Okay, rewind to kick the point. And now the Franklin County coach wants an explanation. And it's through. With 3.49 to go in the third quarter, Anderson 21, Franklin 21. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Okay, rewind to kick off. I don't know what, now the referee's coming in here. They called a personal foul. And they never marked anything off unless it was offset, unless there were, Two personal fouls. Personal foul on Anderson, okay. So Rewind will be kicking off from the 25, and Franklin should come out of this with really good field position. First time, the, the official first time he marked it that it was against uh, Franklin. Okay, got Rewind to kick off. There's a low line drive and it's out of bounds. And let's see here. It looks like there's going to be a so, looks like they're going to be a re-kick here from five yards farther back. Let's see here. We've got Nick Tucker, Johnny Breeze, Travis Best, Catherine Bowen watching the game, and Cynthia Miracle. So Anderson's going to be kicking off from the 20 this time. 
Oh, Franklin should come out of this with dynamite field position. Franklin's done an awful good job of dropping back and getting in that getting in that wedge. There's a nice high kick, taking on the 25, and he's tackled there by Clank and brought down on the 37-yard line. First and 10 Franklin on the, their own 37. I really thought they might come out of that with a whole lot better field position than that. Franklin's got trips to, no, just got somebody running off. Got twins to both sides. Man in motion. There's the handoff on the jet sweep. And he's hit by Cornish. Franklin's not going to have anybody left. They've got somebody else down on the ground here. And we're going to have another timeout with 3.29 to go in the third, 21 apiece. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Oh, good play by Will Hoyt. He batted that pass. Nice play by Justin. It's going to make it third and 11. Third and 11 for Franklin. Two receivers each way. Quarterback's going straight back. Derringer's trying to get pressure on him. He's trying to run out of there. They've got a man out here wide open and it's overthrown. They had a wide open receiver out here and he was just overthrown. Fourth and 11 for Franklin. We have Collins and Russell back. Now it's just Collins back. Franklin brings a man on late. There's a snap, it's high, and it's almost blocked. They tipped it. Referee saying they tipped it, getting a great roll for Franklin. It's going to roll dead on the 39-yard line where Anderson will take over first and 10. 250 to go in the third quarter. Two nice defensive plays there. Got Anderson off the field. Anderson has two receivers to the far side. There's a blitz coming, and we've got timeout Franklin County with 2.50 to go in the third quarter. Anderson 21, Franklin 21. 
Hello, Miss Sylvia. This is John from Anderson Apothecary. I was just calling to see how you were feeling today. John goes above and beyond for each and every customer that we have. He jumped right on it. If someone needed help, John would be the first guy there. No questions asked, nothing to eat. He'll be there. John just wanted to open a hometown pharmacy just to take better care of his customers. Well, I sure am glad you're feeling better. We're going to be bringing your medication by here just shortly. Is there anything else I can pick up for you? If you haven't met John yet, come out and meet him, and you'll like him just as much as we do. Okay, first and ten, Anderson. Anderson has two receivers this way. There's a counter play this way to Collins. Collins has it, and he's gone. They're not going to catch him. Anderson 27, Franklin 21. And we've got Zach Labhart out of his out of his chair congratulating Collins. Rewind in to kick. And it's good. With 2.40 to go in the third quarter, Anderson 28, Franklin 21. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Well, Anderson's going to come up with Anderson's going to come up with 20 yards better field position than they had the last time. Kicking off from the 40 instead of the 20. Charles Alexander Collins is down here on the bench getting a well-deserved rest. Rewind to kick. There's a nice kick that's back to the end zone, and it'll come out to the 20 where Franklin will take it first and 10. Well, Franklin scored uh, three touchdowns in about six minutes. Anderson came back and scored two and four. Franklin has it first and 10 on the 20. Franklin has four wides. Quarterback's going straight back, getting pressure on him. Oh, makes a nice escape, flips it out. And he's called after a 10-yard gain. Nice play by Franklin quarter, Franklin's quarterback. He's tackled by Taylor and Russell. 
Thought he was down for about a three-yard loss, and he flipped it out for a first down. Trips to the far side for Franklin. Franklin shifts the back. Quarterback's going straight back. Running around, running around. He has a man out here, and it's well short. Second and 10 for Franklin on the 33. Two oh three to go in the third, twenty eight twenty one Bearcats. Two receivers to the far side, one to this side. There's a handoff. And there's a gain of a gain of five. Tackles by Russell and Cornish. Third and Third and five. There's a the snap. Frank Anderson's got pressure on him. Good play. That was Derringer. Big sack. That's a loss of 10. Big sack by Derringer. Well, the Franklin quarterback is, or the Franklin punter is in deep punt formation. I mean, he's, he's 15 yards back. There's a snap. It's low. And Anderson almost got that one. It's bouncing out of bounds right around midfield where Anderson will take over on the, well, right, let's call it, let's just call it midfield. First and 10, Anderson at midfield. Anderson has two receivers this way. There's a, there's a counter play. Collins slips it, slips another tackle. Still going. And he's out of bounds. That was a tough three-yard run by Collins. And there, we're getting a lot of mouth down there on the sideline. Gain of three, third and second and seven. Anderson puts two receivers to the far side. There's a handoff up the middle to Collins, and he's got three or four. Going to be third and four, and that's going to probably be the, no, third and five. That's going to be the last play of the third quarter, I would imagine. Yep, last play of the third quarter. After three, Anderson 28, Franklin 21. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Franklin scored two. Quick ones, and then Anderson came back and 
score two just as quick, so it's right where we were at the half. Anderson ahead by seven, 28-21. It's third and five for Anderson on, their own, on the Franklin 45. Anderson has receivers left and right. Well, we've got two receivers to this side. Franklin's coming on the blitz, and it's through Rewind's hands. It's going to be fourth and five. Got Willems back to punt. Frank Franklin's not going to put much of a rush on this time. There, there's a snap. There's a punt that's over here to this side. Getting a great Anderson bounce down to the three-yard line where Franklin will take over first and 10 with 11.49 to go. That's Coffin corner kick like it's supposed to be. First and 10 Franklin on their own three-yard three line. They've got, well, I don't know if they're signaling they need a player or not. They've got a wide receiver to the far side, two to this side. Quarterback hands it off, and he's getting to the outside, and he's knocked down on about the eight-yard line by Taylor. Anderson player had a big handful of jersey there, but couldn't bring him down. It's a gain up to the eight-yard line, gain of five. Franklin has two receivers to this side, one to the far side. There's a snap, quarterback's going back. Anderson's getting pressure. And it's thrown away. It's gonna be third and four. There was Luster and Maxberry back there putting pressure on the quarterback. Third and four for Franklin. Guess might be, this might be quarterback scramble down. Franklin's got two receivers this way. Two to the far side, quarterback's back. He's rolling, turning, throwing back a, a screen. And he's gonna be close to the first down. First down, Franklin. Ball's on the 14. Anderson faked the blitz. There's a quarterback on the keeper, and he's loose. Russell's got to get him, and Russell snares him on the 37-yard line. First and 10, Franklin on the Anderson 38. Franklin has two wides to each side, snaps a little high. There's a little slip screen over to the far side. He's missed and clink and 
Clink and Taylor bring him down, but that's a gain of gain of seven. Third and two. Quarterback keeps it. He's got the first down. And Anderson has somebody down. Whoever it was made the tackle. It's another cramp. Okay, 10.02 to go in the game. Anderson 28, Franklin 21. That's and we'll be back in a minute. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, Eagle Housing Lender. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Okay, that was Cornish that... Uh cramped up so he has to go out for a play. First and 10 for Franklin. Anderson's coming, <clears throat> coming out in the forefront. There's a snap, there's the handoff. And that's Derringer. And Anderson says they've got the ball. And there's a fumble. Anderson says they've got the ball, but nobody else does. Well, yes, the officials do. First down, Anderson. That was a big fumble there. I think. I think Joe Taylor that came up with that. Anderson has it first down on the uh, 18. Anderson has receivers left and right. Collins in motion. There's a counter play to Maxberry. He's running out there free. He cuts it back. He's going down the sideline. There's a touchdown, Bearcats. <coughs> they hit Maxberry on the counter, and he went 81 yards for a touchdown. And there was some extracurricular activity going on behind the ball, but. Uh, the referee came in there and broke it up pretty quick. Got Ruwine in to kick the point. Been a game of big plays, nothing but big plays. Russell to hold, Ruwine to kick. And it's good with 9.42 to go in the game. Anderson 35, Franklin 21. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Real quick, want to say hi to Sally Joe, but Denny, watching down in Alabama. Got Rewind to kick off. Scores are coming in bunches tonight. I mean, Fra Franklin reeled off three. Anderson's reeled off three right back. Got Rewind to kick off.
That's going to be re- going to be returned from the goal line. Anderson's gotten in behind the wedge, and he's knocked out on the 28-yard line, where Franklin will have it first and ten, down 21 to 30, 35 to 21. Anderson looks like it's going back to the forefront where they've been in the three front all day. They're going to a forefront. Franklin has trips this, has two receivers this way, quarterbacks back. There's a short pass out there and it's bounced. Second and 10. Second and 10 for Franklin. They've got Michael Williamson in. Franklin's got a bunch formation to this side. Quarterback's back. He's rolling. He's missed by Derringer. And there's a nice catch over there on the sideline. Good throw, good catch. Up on the 45-yard line where Franklin will have it first and 10. And we've got an Anderson player down. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Okay, that was Clank that's down, and he's not putting much weight on his on his knee here. We'll have to see what's going on with that. He's trying to put a little weight on it. Okay, first and ten for Franklin. Franklin has two wides to this side, one to the far side. Now it's three wides to this side. Quarterback's rolling to that side. There's a pitch, nice play, and Cornish drags him down after. That's a first down. That was a nice option play. First and 10 inside the Anderson 45. to go in the game. Anderson 35, Franklin 21. Quarterback's going straight back. Going out here deep, and it's good defense by Ruwine. It's going to make it. Second and ten. Second and ten for Franklin. Two wides each way. There's a quarterback keeper and good play by Derringer. 
Gain of one. Third and nine for Franklin. Well, it's third and ten. Anderson just rushing three. Quarterback's going back. They're floating it to the sideline. And boy, that's almost picked off. That was Collins. And Anderson has. Nope. That was Collins and Cornish over there. That ball hung up there for a long time. It was almost picked off. I don't think Franklin, I don't think Franklin's going to be punting. Fourth and ten for Franklin. Anderson's bringing the blitz. Anderson's after him. He's missed. And there's a first down for Franklin. That quarterback did a really good job scrambling around until he found somebody that was open. I thought Anderson had him for a loss, and he scrambled around. It's on the 27, first and 10 for Franklin. Quarterback's going back, getting pressured, rolling out to the side, coming across the middle, and it's intercepted. That's Ruwine, gets a good block from Cornish. He's going down the sideline, and he's dragged down. He's dragged down on the 47. Big interception by Ruwine. I'm not sure. An he's down. Will Hoyt's down. I'm not sure Anderson's got any receivers left. Frank, Franklin's got a man down. Rewind crawled off. Will Hoyt was down. That's a cramp. Anderson's going to take over on their own 48. And Anderson's going bone. They're going double tight bone. 8-10 to go in the game. There's a handoff to Collins, and he gets five. Second, second and five. Anderson's unbalanced to this side. Gillis, quarterback sneak. Gillis might go. He's at the 10, touchdown on a quarterback sneak. Forty-one twenty-one, seven twenty-seven to go. Rewind to kick, Russell to hold. And it's good. Seven twenty-seven to go in the game. Anderson forty-two. Franklin twenty-one. Today's game is brought to you by. Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary. The cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary. Just across the street from the high school 
on Highway 127. Okay, got rewind to kick off. Anderson has doubled the score on Franklin now, 42 to 21. And we've got Clank and Labbert down here to console each other. Clank's on, on crutches after he went down and got, he's coming over there. To, he, he and Labbert are gonna have a conversation. Okay, got Rewind ready to kick off. And Anderson calls timeout. They don't have enough people out there for the kickoff. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. We've got uh, John Michael Woolham's kicking off. Nope, now we're, now we're switching. Okay, I want to thank all the people that are watching the game. And Rewind's ready to kick. It's a line drive. It's taken down on the nine. Reversing his field. And he's brought down by Joe Taylor. Franklin will have the ball on the, their own 29. Anderson's about out of defensive backs. They've got Isaiah Fitzpatrick in there at, at, one, at one corner. Franklin has two wides each way. Quarterback's going straight back. Anderson's getting pressure on him. Coming across the middle, he's wide open. And there's a first down up here on the 48-yard line, and Franklin's, Franklin's going hurry up, 7-14 to go in the game. Quarterback's back, getting pressure, going out there way deep, and it's overthrown. He threw into double coverage there. Collins and Fitzpatrick were back there. I think it's a good thing Anderson's got an open date next week. Uh, got... Uh, Clink on crutches. They're walking rewind around. Second and ten. Snaps a little high. Quarterback's back. They're throwing a screen. Good play by good play by Cornish. They had blockers out there. Cornish came in from behind and pulled him down. That's a gain of six. Quarterback's back. They're getting pressure on him. Runs out of there, completes the pass. 
and Cornish and Chilton knock him down, but there's a first down. First down Franklin on Anderson's 28. Six, six and a half minutes to go in the game. Quarterback's coming back. He's trying to, he's running out of there. And he overthrows Will Hoyt laid a lip. Way to lick, lay a lick on him, and he's he's got rid of the ball. This he's by far the best quarterback we faced this year, and he he's only a I think he's either a is he a sophomore? He's a sophomore. Franklin's got playing a lot of young players. Second and ten. Franklin's rolling the pocket, passing out there in the flat. Collins nails him after a gain of a couple. Third and eight for Collin for uh, Franklin. There's a snap. Derringer's back there. He gets loose somehow and almost completes the pass. Boy, Derringer was Derringer almost had him. Anderson has a defensive lineman trying to get off. That's that's Aldridge. He's limping around out there. Got Luster coming in to replace him. No, they're not taking, not taking Luster out. It's fourth and eight. Quarterback's back. Anderson's trying to get pressure. He's going out there deep, and that's incomplete. I tell you what, if the receiver doesn't stop, that is a touchdown. He stopped, and Anderson will take over on downs. First and 10 Bearcats. Gillis is in the shotgun, have receivers left and right, man in motion. Max Berry has it again, and he gets he gets eight. Five minutes to go in the game. Anderson ahead, forty-two to twenty-one. And Anderson's going double tight wishbone here. Unbalanced this way. There's a handoff to Russell, and Scrap almost pops through there. He, Scrap gets uh, eight yards. Four and a half minutes to go, 42 to 21 Bearcats. This looks like Anderson's going to win this one, but it was by the hardest at one time. They were down 28-21. Anderson's in the wishbone. Here's the pitch this way to Collins. And he gets four. I'd like to say hello to Sherry Smith, who's watching from Nashville. 
Mackenzie Marsh, pancake from the state state uh, runner-ups. Gain of four, gain of four, second and six for Anderson. Anderson's in the wishbone, unbalanced. Hand off again to Russell. Scrap drives through there and and they're marking it down. They're marking it down. It's going to be third and two. Three minutes to go in the game. There's a hand, hand off to Collins. There's Collins fumbles. Now, I'm not sure who has the ball. No, that was Russell that fumbled. Russell fumbled, and Franklin has the ball with 2.34 to go in the game. Franklin has the ball, 2.34 to go in the game. I'd like to say hello to Seth Holland, who's watching from uh, Breathitt County, and hey, Robbie Hanks, golf coach. Franklin comes out. They've got trips to the far side, singled up on this side. Snaps a little high. Anderson's trying to get pressure. They're going deep, and it's thrown out of bounds. Second and 10. Two twenty-eight to go. And Tracy Dillenbeck from Memphis. Down there where there's good barbecue. Frank Franklin has trips to the far side. Quarterback looks right, comes back there trying a little slip screen, and he is really racked. Cornish and Collins, boy, they each of them grabbed a leg and said, make a wish. And Franklin has a man down with 2.13 to go. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, 2.13 to go in the game. Anderson 42, 21 over Franklin. Clock's running. Franklin's got twins to both sides. Quarterback's back. Anderson's bringing everybody. They're throwing out here deep. And good defense by Chilton. And Anderson has somebody else not, trying to get back up. That's Aldridge. Going to make it fourth and 13. Like I said earlier, Anderson, Anderson's really going to need this week off. They've got all kinds of people hurt and dragging. And
There's the snap. Anderson's trying to get a rush. They're coming across the middle. And there's a first down for Franklin County. Got Johnny Wood. And oh, there's, there's my buddy Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Johnny Breeze and Karen Wood, thank you all for watching. First and 10, uh, Franklin. Anderson's rushing. There, that looked like a bit a hole there. They swung it out of the backfield, and the runner gets out of bounds. It looked like there was a hole in the backfield and almost a block in the back on Maxberry. Gain of seven, 126 to go in the game. Second and eight. Quarterback's back, going down there deep, and that's, oh, that was through Russell's hands. Russell had a better shot at it than anybody did. Third and three, quarterback's rolling. And he's brought down over there by Cornish. Cornish got a basket full of tackles tonight. Minute 15 to go. Uh, I think Franklin, Franklin's quarterback's had enough punishment for the night. There's a handoff this way. There's Russell, and Russell brings him down for a loss of about four. Their quarterback's a good quarterback. He's taken a bunch of punishment, to, punishment tonight. He's done a really good job. Coach Peach said, when I talked to him this morning that uh, he was going to be the best quarterback we've seen this year. 30 seconds to go. Snaps a little high. Quarterback keeper. Collins is after him and slings him out of bounds. 23.6 seconds to go. Third and six. Anderson's coming with the blitz. And they might have come too soon. They were sending everybody. Going to be third and one. There's a snap, quarterback's back, getting pressure, a little slip screen. He's broken it to the outside, and Collins and I don't know who the other Bearcat is, but we've got somebody else down over there on the side. They're trying to get him up. Collins and Cornish again. 15 seconds to go in the game. First and 10 for Franklin. Quarterback's rolling, getting pressured, and bounces it back. That was Will Hoyt that had pressure on the quarterback. Yeah. 
It certainly, it certainly was a hard-fought game. It's not the kind that you really want for your homecoming game, but it was a good game, hard-fought. Uh, Franklin took a lead on Anderson, 21-14, to 14, and Anderson roared back with 21 un unanswered points. This is going to be your last play of the game. Snaps a little high, quarterback's rolling, throwing for the end zone. It's out of the end zone, and that's the ball game. Final score, Anderson 42, Franklin 21. We'll be back in just a few minutes with the stats. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. All right, final score, Anderson 42, Franklin 21. Franklin had 31st downs to Anderson's 14. Anderson had 426 yards rushing, uh, 63 yards passing for 489 yards. Franklin had 211 yards rushing, 340 yards passing for 551 yards. Franklin ran 95 plays to 43 for Anderson. Time of possession, 26, uh, 27 minutes for Franklin. Uh, well, the numbers don't jive, but anyway, Franklin had it about twice as long as Anderson did. Charles Collins had a great game. He had 16 rushes, 207 yards, four touchdowns. Brendan Maxberry had 118 yards. It's the second time Anderson's had two rushers go over 100 yards for one touchdown. Jagger Gillis had 72 yards, one touchdown. Most most of Jagger's was on the 48-yard run. Uh, Gillis was three out of six for 63 yards. Russell, Rewind, and Clank each caught one uh, pass. Uh, Kine and Russell. And Colton Cornish had 14 and 13 tackles, respectively. Charles Collins had Charles Alexander Collins had nine. And I guess when you run 95 plays, you're going to get a lot of tackles. Uh, I mean, this was game. It was pretty much a game of big plays. The sh the shortest touchdown was 18 yards on Anderson's first touchdown. Uh, there were. 73 yards, 74 yards, 60 yards, 81 yards, 48 yards. And as I was getting ready to say, Anderson is coming up on a good time for an open date. Uh, Rewind, Clank, banged up. Uh, Collins, every, just about everybody was limping at the end of the game. Good hard-fought game. Uh, once again, final score, Anderson 42 Franklin 21. I want to thank all the people that watched. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, nice to know that we actually do have an audience out there. Uh, and don't forget, we're going to be off next week, but we'll see you in two weeks. It will not be live streamed. Uh, do want to real quick say congratulations to Bailey Pedersen, the homecoming queen, 2018. Once again, final score, Anderson 42. Franklin 21. Except for Grant, the rest of the games will be live streamed. Okay, well, I, I just, just was told that the Grant game will be streamed. Will not be. The rest of the games after Grant will be live streamed. Okay. All right. Good enough. It's hard for me to concentrate on two things at once. Anyway. All right. As I said, it's break time for Anderson. Happy homecoming, Anderson 42, Franklin 21, in a very hard-fought game. We'll see you all in two weeks. Good night, everyone.